Every time Daddy tries to work, there's a puppy making noise. How do you know? A little puppy switch somewhere? Huh? Yeah? You gonna help? Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be testing the effectiveness, if any, of the SVS isolation feet. Now these are basically just big rubber pucks. They're donut shaped with a hole through the center that you can screw into speakers or specifically subwoofers. They're sold and marketed by SVS. They're included on some of the models out of the box and are optional on others. I have two subs in the room here. A PB4000 with them installed and I put them on here since day one. I also had them on my previous SVS sub and the previous one, 2000, was the last one that I ran without the feet. And I'll talk about why I installed them before, but I've never tested this without the feet to see if there's any change. I've never measured with or without. I also have a PC4000 which, as I mentioned, comes with its stock. There are feet built on there so you can see what they look like. They're just basically rubber feet. That's as simple as it gets. And the idea is that it decouples the base or the resonance or the movement of the subwoofer to the floor. Now this totally depends on the floor you have. This is hardwood bamboo. It's very dense hardwood itself or grass technically and it's directly on concrete slab. So this is as solid as a freaking rock. I've also had subs in a previous house on a floating laminate floor and you know you get a nice bounce when you walk on it. I had a really thick underlayment for sound absorption and the subwoofers kind of acted like they were amplified. So it really depends on the type of floor. Carpet of course would be different as well. But these are primarily a thing for hardwood floors. So there are feet on here right now and what I'm going to do is simply a lot of measurements. Got my U mic one set up, and that's in my listing position. What I'll do is a set of measurements. I'll do three tests and average them for each different combination. I'm going to test the sub in all three modes sealed, standard, and extended, just to see if there's any difference. I'm going to turn off the PC4000. I'm going to unplug the mains, so only the PB4000 will be part of this test. I'm going to do measurements with the feet, and then I'm going to get it completely off the ground and basically spike it. I'm going to go even better than the stock feet that come with it, which are really pretty crappy plastic little tiny nubs. The only good thing about them is you can screw them in and out to level should you need to, but they're not rubber coated and they're not spikes. So they're pretty low end, and they include those on all their other subs. They really need to do better feet. But my main speakers, they're on solid metal spikes with rubber caps, specifically for hardwood floors, and have a rock solid stable base out of the box. So we're gonna compare them, and we're just gonna look at the charts and see if we can see anything. Now opinions vary wildly on what these do, and I have a feeling it's going to depend on your room. I originally put these on, like I said, my previous sub, at a time when I had no room treatment in here. It's when we first moved into the house, and it was a freaking echo chamber. I'm in my dining room now, and this is pretty much as bad as the living room sounded. The living room was a little worse because it's even more open and has more space. But you can hear the difference in my voice in this living room, dining room, with nothing. So this is just basically bare walls. I do have a nice thick rug, but that's it. There's no room treatment like in the living room. And of course, the difference between the rooms is night and day. And it definitely affected the base. So my original intent with using the feet on my previous 2000 sub, and that was the only sub in here, was number one, to protect the floor, but number two, because I had a lot of things shaking around the house here. Three areas noticeably. This first cabinet here has a lot of uh, glassware in it, and I would hear them rattling. I still do, but not nearly as bad as it used to be. And I've got our Oh, what do you call it? The smart pot thing, whatever. Anyway, there's a, a rack inside of it, and it would rattle. It, it just 
caught a resonance and that thing would go really weird. And this was especially noticeable stuff here on this little shelf, which is kind of next to the sub. This whole thing would rattle and I would hear, you know, this going on or this going on, you know, just stuff rattling. And after I put the feet on, that stopped. And I'm not going to say the, uh, the kitchen completely cleaned up, but it was less. It was definitely less. And that was just putting the feet on, doing nothing else. So it had an effect. But after I upgraded to the 4000, I transferred the feet right over and I've never run this without. And then this has changed position and the whole system has completely changed a couple times since then. So I have never measured the effect of the feet on this in any combination. Today will be the first time. All right, let's fire up REW and do some tests. So here's my baseline. This is with all processing off just the one sub in room. And this is currently in sealed mode. So I've done three runs. I'm going to average them and then mark that as one data point. I'm going to do the same. I'll do all three modes and then switch for the rigid mount to the floor and do them again. Then we'll compare each point to point. So just as points of reference, here are the three tests all with feet. The green is sealed. The, hey, <sighs> my puppy helper is trying to type. <laughs> and she turned off my standard. Hang on. As I was saying, green is sealed, the highlighted is the standard, and the purple is the extended. So here are all the results from rigidly mounting without the feet. The highlighted is standard, the red is extended, and the green is sealed. So now let's compare all three feet without feet. Let's start with standard mode. The highlighted is without the feet. So you can see the blue line there is what they did. Here's extended mode, very much the same thing. I'm definitely seeing a little trend. I'm sure you guys are noticing it as well. Highlighted is without feet again. And now we can check out sealed mode. And this is definitely the most dramatic difference. So in this case, I could definitely see why people think it's removing base, because it certainly is in this room in sealed mode you are going to hear this amount of drop. The highlighted is again without feet. So the overall curve is about the same in all three, but you can definitely tell that you're missing a lot of super low in base with the feet in sealed mode in this particular configuration. So I encourage you to try it out for yourself. If you have REW, it's super easy to you know, play around with stuff. Given that I'm really loving these in sealed mode lately, I am going to rerun this with both my subs and see if I can't get a little more pressure out of it. Seeing this for the first time, I know that I'm basically losing out on, well, twice the volume. Each one of those lines is 5 dB, so two lines is twice the volume. And that's definitely significant in the low end. I wish I had some rigid feet now to test on the PC 4000, but it doesn't come with any. So there you go, guys. Hope that helps somebody. See you next time.